Hello, and this is The Handshake. I am Lynn Komdisha. This is New Vision TV. With me is Paul Busharezi. Paul, welcome. Thank you. Youth unemployment in Kampala is uh, currently at 32.2%. Now, among graduates, for your own information, it stands at 36%. That is very worrying. Yeah. So, what does this training, <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Youth-led SMEs. I think what's happening is that um, not only the youth, but our businessmen in general, um, we're just going to business. We don't try to organize ourselves. We don't do market research. We don't do all that stuff. We don't have a uh, you know proper mentality for doing business. Mm -hmm. We go in and we sink or swim. I mean, we just need to survive. Well, yeah, exactly. So, so, so now w I think what the trend is going to do is hopefully orient these youth this businessman's mind, this youth businessman's mind, to think about um, how do you handle your profit, how do you market, how do you uh, handle human resource, the people around you, you know, and how do you formalize your business, especially. What what does it mean that they're talking about? Well, it can be anything. Uh, our youth are involved in everything from uh, mobile money, uh, mobile money selling to. Um, to farming, uh, to simple trade uh, mm -hmm. of goods and services, uh, consultancy, mm -hmm. all these I'm sure would be involved okay. in this training. So uh, is that going to also include bookkeeping? Exactly. That so that's part of the formalization oh of this yes. thing. You show them how to account, how to register their businesses for, uh, for legal purposes, how mm -hmm. to open bank accounts and how to use a bank account or how to use the banks. Mm -hmm. And how to access uh, even uh, services or uh, can you call it capacity building consultancies to help your business? Right. All that should be included in that, I'm sure. Okay, so the training is supposed to, you know, <laughs> increase the number of jobs for the youth. Yeah. And how is this supposed to happen? No, of course. Um, so the best thing is, I mean, if I'm going to start a business, let's say of, uh, let's just say I'm going to start a shop, I okay. probably need one other person. I might yeah. start with myself, yeah. and then I'll need one other person to stand on the counter when I'm tired or something. Mm. That's a job created. I'll probably need somebody to um, drive my small little pickup to get goods if from the wholesale. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm evolving. My, okay. my business okay. is growing. Okay. My business is growing. I might need uh, somebody else to open when I want to open another shop across town. You know, so um, in, in most economies. Uh, the largest part of job creation is by small companies, not mm. these big companies like New Vision. I mean, New Vision, uh, which has a bit of staff complement, maybe now about 1,000, 200 people, mm -hmm. might be like that for the next five years. It's not going to add any more jobs. But these small companies, that's where the jobs are created. Mm. Hence, w they need to train the owners, mm. or the, 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 the owners or the promoters of these uh, businesses so mm -hmm. they can be more sustainable they don't collapse as soon as they they start they're created yeah. mm. uh, it's very interesting they are offering to train them why not just give them money to you know <laughs> uh, add more stuff in their businesses no i mean i think that is uh, that is where um, people have got the analysis wrong the mm -hmm. problem with our businesses there's there is a sh there is a challenge of access fi access to finance but it's more the formalization of the business and the mindset of the of the business owners that mm. needs to be worked on. I think once it's two are sorted, finance is not a. It's, it, there's, but there's too much money flowing around. If you think about it, really, you think, oh, absolutely. Uh, if, let me, let me, let me, let me give an no example. Way. Let me give an example. <laughs> let me give an example. Um, last year, uh, on mobile money alone, all right. mobile money platforms, 44 trillion. Uh, was transacted on all mobile money mm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. The budget of Uganda is 32 trillion. <laughs> so the money that's going around on mobile is more than the budget of <laughs> Uganda. And even if you take it a step further, that money is flying through the air. So right now here, there's a few thousands flying, hundreds, millions. They're just flying through the air. So money is all around. It is, are you organized to tap into this money? And that is what the training hopefully will help this youth with. Okay. Uh, is what, what happened to the youth livelihood fund? Yeah, youth is livelihood it fund. There? Yeah, it, I imagine it's still there. It's a, it's a program being run by the gender ministry. Mm -hmm. And the last I saw, um, they were struggling to not struggling, but they were working on getting back. Oh, getting back. Uh, getting paid back. I think it's <laughs> supposed to be a revolving fund. I borrow from the youth fund. I do some work. I pay back. They pass it on to somebody else, and like that's supposed to. Um, do you think this is why they've come up with this training? 
Okay, well, they, I, I know, I think, not. as you, as you described, yeah. the, the level of unemployment is quite high. So yeah. several people are, are working on initiatives to try and work on this. So youth livelihood is one. This is probably another, mm. and there are many others in the, in, in, but in the works. I, th I would think they, they failed to pay back because perhaps they were not trained well. That's possibly, that's possibly true. But also the youth fund, it's interesting that you mentioned that. The youth fund is tending to support uh, what they call startup businesses. Right. Now, when you know that the statistics are that uh, only 5% of companies reach their first birthday, mm -hmm the failure rate suggests that you know you might not collect back a lot of the money mm. you've put in mm. so uh, yeah. maybe it's not a surprise that that's what's happening okay mm. so we should look out for this uh, absolutely I mean you know the, the the issue of unemployment is not going to be solved by 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 the government uh, decreeing that it goes away mm. the issue of unemployment is going to be solved by uh, creating an enabling environment for businesses especially small businesses sure, sure. to start up and and operate and be viable for a long period of time. Training is one way of maintaining that they be viable, okay. they be around for a while. That's that's very interesting, really. Uh, I hope. But I you have to start your own business. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> You're welcome.